Always the artists. The Night King's creepy message in the Game of Thrones premiere is even more terrifying than you think. The night is dark and full of secrets, and Sunday's season 8 premiere of Game of Thrones brought darkness and secrets aplenty. After all, the long-awaited reunions, uncomfortable nephew on aunt, um, action, and a frankly unacceptable lack of elephants, Game of Thrones unveiled what might be its scariest scene to date. However, in order to get into it, we're gonna have to spoil one of the coolest moments of the season 8 premiere, so if you haven't seen it yet, now's your time to make like Bran and war gone out of here until all of this is over. Great. Now you can read all about this in Michael Walsh's article on Nerdist.com, but we're gonna dive into what was easily the most upsetting part of Sunday's episode. Tormund Giantsbane and Beric Dondarrion were steady creeping through the ruins of House Umber's ancestral home when they encountered not a group of White Walkers, but Dolores Ed and the Night's Watch. But that's not the only surprise awaiting our heroes, R.I.P. Little Lord Umber, nailed to the wall and surrounded by a hideous spiral of human limbs, sent back to the last hearth to gather up his house's able-bodied fighters to join Danny's massive army, but it looks like they joined the Night King's army instead, except for, like, parts of them. And then things went from bad to worse. <laughs> the Night King didn't just choose a random victim to leave behind, he chose Little Lord Ned Umber to send a message to the living. This is his way of saying that no one is safe. He knows who you are, where you live, and there's nothing you can do to stop him. And then he's gonna make gross art out of you and everyone you love on top of that? Straight up rude. And he does this all the time. The death spiral pattern has appeared numerous times throughout Game of Thrones. We saw it at the Fist of the First Men in season three, and the pattern is even in one of Bran's green sight visions when the Children of the Forest first created the Night King. These spirals also appear in the cave paintings on Dragonstone, but personally, I kind of think John just drew those quickly on the wall to impress Danny. Oh, do you like it, my lady? The spiral is a mystical pattern created by the Children of the Forest that has been in turn co-opted by the White Walkers. Now, some fans think this could mean the Night King is one of the first Targaryens since their house sigil is a three-headed dragon in a spiral pattern. Well, that and he's also able to ride undead Viserion, something we've been led to believe is something only someone with Valyrian blood could do. Other theories suggest these are symbological references to weather patterns, which would play into the show's larger allegory about climate change and how mankind has ruined the natural world. And according to Redditor Icy Blue, the symbol is actually the golden ratio representing harmony and how by creating the White Walkers, the children of the forest threw the natural world off balance, separating ice and fire magic into two discrete states of being. Now this symbol is a desire by the White Walkers to achieve this state of harmony once more, Probably by killing everyone, which is a pretty rude way to do it, but you get the point. It's a question that may never get answered in the remaining five episodes of Game of Thrones' final season, and honestly, we still have an awful lot of questions and off-the-wall theories, most of which involve Bran Stark himself. I can't terrified. get away from the theories about Bran on the internet. Well, he is the Three-Eyed Raven, um, and I think of all the people, the Three-Eyed Raven is the most relaxed, chilled-out person to deal with something like this. He's also got all of history at his fingertips. Um, so what better way to be able to tap into history and learn from it than, uh, than to be the Three-Eyed Raven? But what do you think? What is the Night King trying to say? Is there a greater significance to this spiral pattern? Let's discuss. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and share this video and tag your friends in the comments below. And until the next time that you wait outside all day and all night just to dunk on an old friend, well, be sure to join us at Nerdist.com.